Alright guys, good day everyone. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, add your funds to your Pizza Lab. To do this, you are going to need to download an application called Z Archiver. Alright, Z Archiver. When you download a font on uh, maybe a Google Chrome or, you know, your browser, alright, those fonts, they come as uh, a file that needs to be extracted. It's just like um, um, it's just like you buying um, egg, alright, and um, you have boiled the egg, alright, and now you want to eat only the yolk of the egg, alright. So before you can eat the yolk of the egg, you need to first remove the shell of the egg. All right, after removing the shell, you need to, you know, first remove the white um, part of the egg before getting to the yolk, right? So, the function of the Z Archiver application is that it allows you to, this is the way, this is actually the way fonts come. Um, the, this is actually the way you download fonts, like the egg, all right? It's like a food package. So, what Z Archiver will do for you is to decode you know remove the shell move the white part and give you the yolk helps you to you know um extract files all right extract files so now um i have this font here which is the black blacklist fam family font all right so once you open your um z archiver app this is what it should look like all right so once you open it i'm going to click on this i've downloaded this font it's fonts usually come in a zip file so that's why you can see this font is saying it's a zip file all these other ones that have letter a it simply means they have been fully extracted all right so i'm good to go with them all right so once i click this blacklist family font all right i'm going to click it it's going to say um extract here or extract to all right i don't want to extract here i want to extract to so once i click extract to all right um okay let's do that again once i click blacklist family all right it's going to say extract here yeah, extract let me click um let me click sorry guys so i've clicked extract all right now immediately i click extract you can see this icon at um, this icon that looks like um, this um, drop down download all right you can see this white icon that is on this green cycle at the bottom of your screen right what this icon is trying to say is extract it here all right but I don't want to extract it here because I want to extract it in a folder that it will be easy for you know for me to pick it from when i go to my pixel lab all right so i'm just going to click on this my font at the top i'm going to click on this place here and i'm going to click on device memory i want to save the font in a place where i can i can easily get it on my device once i click device memory you're going to see it's going to tell you different stuff like that you know it's going to bring out all your you know your folder um stuff like that all right so by you i saved i created a folder on my phone and i named that folder my fonts that's what you are seeing here i named that folder my fonts all right so the reason why i named it my fonts is because i want it to be easy for me to you know pick out fonts all right so that i don't just be searching folder when i want to you know add the font into my pixel app application so i've clicked this my fonts now all right so remember the first thing go to device memory once you click device memory and you choose a folder you want you can decide to choose any pre-existing folder in your phone but me i already have a folder which is my font i'll click on my font now once you are done clicking on my font now you will now click this um this drop down um icon that is white um on a green cycle so it means that i am that font i extracted i want to paste it here it's just like copy and paste so that font I downloaded, that font I extracted, I want to paste it here. So once I just click here, it's going to copy and it's going to drop here. All right, can you see it now? So now the font, I copied it at zip as a zip file. It's not yet the full file, all right? So I'm going to click it. Once I click it and I'm going to click extract here, meaning 
drop all your family here all right everything you came with drop it here so once i click extract here the font is going to be extracted now i've extracted it before because i've said i've saved this font before on my pixel Lab application all right that is why it's asking me this question that overwrite file you know stuff stuff like that so i'm just going to i'm just going to click replace so once i click i'll click replace for all the file let me click ap apply to files now i'm done extracting the file all right so now you can see blacklist font family you can see you can see all the families inside of this zip file you can see this first one you can see the second one you can see this third one you can see so you can see it now so i've been able to extract it in my font folder right so once you are done now you now go to your pixel app and you are going to add the font into your pixel app all right so let's go to pixel app so now i'm in the pixel app folder and i'm going to click on my font let me add the text and i'm going to click on my font and i'm going to click on you know font a b all right remember i told you that fonts here this is basic all right this directly um it came with the application pixel app so i'm going to click on my font and i'm going to click on this add folder here yeah? all right i'm going to click on this sorry this c you can see there's letter t add here and there's, there's a folder add here so i'm going to click on this t add all right it's going to take me to my phone all right so i'm going to click this my icon here and i'm going to click my 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 device and i'm going to look for that my font folder all right and i remember remember when we opened um z archiver we were seeing this folder on the z archiver but i told you i said i um opened specifically a folder named it my font so that i can easily pick the font so once i click on my fonts it's going to bring out the fonts that i have extracted here so i'm just going to now look at that blacklist family can you see the um, zip file can you see once i click it it's going to bring out all the fonts all right all the fonts inside of it so all you just need to do is to hold mark this mark this mark this mark this mark as much as you can all right but for the sake of this tutorial let me just mark only this four because i already have the font on my um pixel app so once you mark this four and you just click select at the top once you click select it's going to automatically reflect on your my font all right so now let's search the font now let's search blacklist now can you see it the font we saved just now can you see that it's here so that's how you had font in um Pix, um pixel lab you first download z icava you go to chrome you download the font once you are done downloading the font you open the font in chrome so once you open the font it's going to ask you open with which application you are going to click open with the z archive application so once you open it it's going to open as a zip file and once it opens as a zip file you follow through the process that i i just revealed all right so that's how you add fonts in pixel lab all right thank you very much guys for watching this video um if this is your first time coming across my youtube channel please do well to like um subscribe and turn on the notification button all right so when next i drop a tutorial you will be notified by youtube all right guys see you in my next video